Imagine receiving a message in a bottle that has been floating across an ocean for centuries. Now, imagine that ocean is the vast expanse of space and the message has been traveling not for centuries, but for 10 billion years. That's exactly what happened on March 4th, 2024, when a radio telescope here on Earth picked up a faint whisper from the cosmos. This signal, named FRB 2024-0304B, was a fast radio burst, or FRB for short. It's an incredibly powerful but fleeting blast of radio waves, lasting only a few thousandths of a second. Think of it like a cosmic camera flash, but instead of light, it's a burst of radio energy. It's gone in the blink of an eye, but it carries an incredible story. So what exactly are these mysterious FRBs? They are one of the most exciting puzzles in modern astronomy. These bursts are tremendously energetic, releasing more energy in a millisecond than our sun does in three whole days. Yet for all their power, we still aren't 100% sure what causes them. The leading suspect is a type of supermagnetic neutron star called a magnetar. These are the ultra-dense remnants of massive stars that have exploded. As these cosmic spinning tops whirl around, their intense magnetic fields can get tangled up and snap, releasing a colossal amount of energy that travels across the universe as a radio burst. The journey of FRB 2024-0304b is mind-boggling. When this signal began its trip, Earth didn't exist. Our Sun was not yet born. The universe itself was just a toddler, only about 3 billion years old. For 10 billion years, this pulse of energy traveled through the ever-expanding void between galaxies. A lonely messenger from a long-lost era, it dodged stars, navigated through clouds of gas, and finally, after a journey spanning more than half the age of the universe, it ended its trip in the dish of a radio telescope in South Africa. It's a message that reminds us just how vast and ancient our universe truly is, connecting our present moment to the deep, cosmic past. Receiving this ancient signal is like being an archaeologist who unearths a perfectly preserved artifact from an undiscovered civilization. This FRB isn't just a random blip of static, it's a scientific treasure chest. By studying its properties, we can learn about the place it came from, the long road it traveled, and the fundamental nature of the universe itself. This single, brief flash gives us a direct line to a period in cosmic history we can otherwise only study indirectly. It's a testament to our curiosity and ingenuity that we can build machines capable of catching these faint ancient whispers and translating them into knowledge about our cosmic origins. Discovering a signal like FRB 2024-0304b wasn't an accident. It was the result of incredible technology and a team of dedicated cosmic detectives. The first hero of this story is the Meerkat radio telescope in South Africa. This isn't just one big dish. It's an array of 64 antennas working together as a single, powerful eye on the universe. As part of a program called Meertrap, scientists use this telescope to constantly scan the skies, searching in real time for these elusive, millisecond-long bursts. On that fateful day, Meerkat's sophisticated software caught the signal, instantly recognized it as a potential FRB, and saved all the data for astronomers to analyze. Once the burst was detected, the next crucial step was to pinpoint exactly where in the sky it came from. Finding the flash is one thing, but finding its home is the real prize. The Meerkat array is brilliant at this, using a technique that combines the signals from its many dishes to create a very precise location in the sky. This pointed the astronomers to a tiny faint smudge of light, billions of light years away. But to understand what that smudge was, to see the neighborhood this cosmic flash came from, they needed an even more powerful tool. They needed to see it in a different kind of light, which required a different kind of telescope. Enter the second hero of our story, the James Webb Space Telescope. While Meerkat sees the universe in radio waves, the James Webb Space Telescope is the master of infrared light. This is perfect for peering deep into the distant early universe. The astronomers aimed the mighty James Webb at the coordinates provided by Meerkat, and what it saw was astonishing. It confirmed that the source was a distant galaxy, but not just any galaxy. The James Webb's incredible sensitivity allowed it to take a detailed picture of the FRB's home, revealing its size, its shape, and what it was doing 10 billion years ago when the signal was first launched into space. This two-telescope tag team is the future of astronomy. Radio telescopes like Meerkat are the wide-net scanners, perfect for catching rare and fleeting events across the sky. Once they get a hit, space telescopes like the James Webb can perform the detailed forensic analysis, zooming in to study the source with unparalleled clarity. 
This powerful combination allowed scientists to not only catch a message from the early universe, but also to read the return address. It's a beautiful example of how different technologies, working in harmony, can help us solve the universe's biggest mysteries and piece together its long and spectacular history. The home galaxy of FRB 2024-0304b is just as fascinating as the signal itself. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we know it's a small, clumpy dwarf galaxy, buzzing with activity. But what makes it truly special is its age. The signal came from a time when the universe was only about 3 billion years old. Astronomers have a wonderful name for this era, Cosmic Noon. This was the universe's most vibrant and productive period. A time of cosmic rush hour when stars were being born at a furious rate, far faster than they are today. Imagine a city where new buildings are popping up on every corner, every single day. That was the universe during cosmic noon. This discovery is hugely important because it confirms that the engines that create FRBs were already active during this peak era of star formation. Since our leading theory is that FRBs come from magnetars, and magnetars are the remnants of massive short-lived stars, this makes perfect sense. Cosmic Noon was churning out massive stars, which would then explode and leave behind these magnetic stellar corpses. Finding an FRB from this period is like finding a fossil that directly links two major events. It strengthens the connection between the birth of stars and the creation of these mysterious radio bursts, telling us that this process has been happening since the universe was young. The host galaxy itself is a little powerhouse. It's a low-mass dwarf galaxy, much smaller than our own Milky Way but it was forming stars at a surprisingly high rate for its size. The James Webb also revealed that this galaxy was metal poor, which in astronomy speak means it hadn't yet been enriched with the heavier elements that are forged inside stars and scattered by supernova explosions. This is exactly the kind of environment we expect to find in the young universe, a sort of primordial soup of hydrogen and helium, busy building its first few generations of stars. It's a pristine window into the conditions of the cosmos long ago, by studying this galaxy, we get a snapshot of what our own cosmic neighborhood might have looked like in its infancy. Before our Milky Way grew into the grand spiral it is today, it was likely built from smaller, messier galaxies just like this one. So, this FRB didn't just lead us to a random spot in space. It led us to a living museum of the early universe. It allows us to study the environment where the first stars and galaxies were being assembled, giving us crucial clues about our own cosmic ancestry and the processes that eventually led to the formation of our sun, our planet, and ourselves. Beyond telling us about their origins, FRBs are incredibly useful tools for studying the universe itself. Think of them as cosmic lighthouses. As the pulse of radio waves travels across billions of light years, it passes through all the stuff that lies between galaxies. This stuff is mostly a thin, almost invisible web of ionized gas called the intergalactic medium. While we know this material is out there, it's the so-called missing baryonic matter that theories predict, but that is hard to see. FRBs give us a way to weigh it. The gas slows down the radio signal ever so slightly, an effect called dispersion. The more gas the signal passes through, the more it gets slowed down. By measuring how much this signal was dispersed, astronomers can calculate the total amount of matter it encountered on its 10 billion year journey. Since FRB 2024-0304b is the most distant FRB found to date, it provides the longest and oldest measurement of this kind ever made. It's like drilling a core sample through 10 billion years of cosmic history. This helps us test our models of the universe, confirming that our understanding of how matter is distributed across vast cosmic scales is on the right track. It turns a mysterious flash into a cosmic measuring stick allowing us to map out the invisible scaffolding of the universe. But that's not all. The signal from an FRB also carries information about cosmic magnetic fields. As the polarized radio waves travel through space, their orientation gets twisted by any magnetic fields they encounter along the way. By measuring this twisting effect, known as Faraday rotation, scientists can get a sense of the strength and structure of the magnetic fields between galaxies. The signal from FRB 2024 0304b showed that the magnetic fields it traveled through were surprisingly weak. This is another vital clue about the early universe, suggesting that the vast magnetic fields that thread through galaxies today took a long time to grow and strengthen. Ultimately, the discovery of FRB 2024-0304b is a major leap forward. It pushes our observational frontier deeper into the past, confirming that FRB engines were at work during the universe's busiest era. 
It provides a powerful new probe for mapping the universe's hidden matter and faint magnetic fields. Each new FRB we find is another piece of a grand puzzle. They are helping us write the history of the universe, not by looking at slow, unchanging objects, but by catching these fleeting, brilliant flashes that illuminate the cosmos in a way nothing else can. The universe is speaking to us, and we are finally learning its language.